These questions have been posed to me more than once. Bobby, what are you? Are you Native American? Are you Latino or Puerto Rican? Or are you African American? Are you Spanish? The answer is yes. I am all of the above. I embrace the diversity within myself and just as important, I embrace the diversity in all other people. My parents arrived in the United States from Puerto Rico in the late 1940s. They came here with very little money and absolutely no knowledge of English. Mommy had a sixth grade education. Papi went all the way to the second grade. Yet they put all three of their sons, including me, through college. The values they taught us were hard work and honesty. They constantly stressed the importance of education. My parents, above all, instilled in us a profound awareness of who we were. They told us of the challenges overcome by our ancestors. They also told us of their wonderful accomplishments, which inspired us to persevere and succeed. As a lecturer for corporate functions and colleges and universities, I look to raise awareness of the rich mosaic of Latino culture. As a storyteller for audiences of all ages, my goals are to entertain and at the same time educate through the vehicles of folk tales and ancient legends. As a performance poet, I provide a theatrical history class that is thought-provoking and challenges preconceived notions of who Latinos and other indigenous peoples are. My name is Bobby Gonzalez. I am a Taino storyteller. Today I want to share with you the story of Matu the Manatee. One day, this Taino man went out into the ocean in his canoe and he tossed the net in the water. And when he pulled it up, he didn't find any fish. What he found in his net was a little baby manatee. And he decided not to kill the manatee. He took him home and he put the baby manatee inside the lake and he gave him a name. The name was Matu. And Matu, the manatee, grew up to be of an immense size, over 10 feet long, weighed over 2,000 pounds. Well, he was so big and strong that Taino men used to jump on his back and he would give them a ride across the lake. One morning, someone called out to him, Matu, Matu! And out he came, but it was one of the men of Christopher Columbus. And this man was starving. He hadn't eaten in a week. So instead of feeding Matu the manatee, he threw a spear at him. So after that happened, whenever anyone would call out to him, Matu, Matu, and if the person was dressed from top to bottom, he went back in the water and said, not again. One day, a hurricane hit the island of Haiti, and Matu the manatee went out to the ocean and went to see his mother, who he hadn't seen since he was a baby. And no one ever saw him ever again. So I want to share with you a, a poem I wrote called Old Coyote, and it's from my book, The Last Puerto Rican Indian. And it goes like this. I am called Old Coyote. I have been walking on this earth since way back when first woman and first man emerged from the previous world. Way back when people were humble and gazed with awe at the majesty of the sea, the mountains, and the tiniest sea. I am called Old Coyote. See my silver hairs and tired eyes. Listen to my stories. They change and grow. They grow and change to fit the times. That is why they are called stories. That is why they are sacred. Stories passed down from mothers to children who are taught to stand straight in the center of good. Excluded songs, hidden histories, hidden mysteries. Revered elders provide guidance and knowledge. They share our journey song, songs from since creation. I am called Old Coyote. I am ready to make my final spirit journey. When I die, do me the honor of lighting a candle, soft and sweet. Leave me offerings of harvest berries, tobacco, and a prayer drum. Soon, we will all return to live in our memories. I am called Old Coyote. 
I bid you all a very good night, all my relations. Our world is rapidly changing. There is a lot of pressure on Latinos, Blacks, Native Americans, Asian Americans, and other groups to completely assimilate. The way I see it, you don't have to assimilate to make progress. And what defines progress is a personal decision. Reconnecting to your roots can be the beginning of a wonderful step forward. Always remember to respect other people who have had different historical, cultural, and spiritual experiences than you have had. Let's not forget, together we are one. No matter our differences, we share a common humanity. Thank you.